Hey y'all, welcome and welcome back to my channel. My name is Danielle and I am a stay at home mom of four. Today is just gonna be a quick clean. I'm jumping right into it. I'm tidying up the master bedroom and also in the kitchen area. We also had quite a few socks that piled up. It's, you know, that sock monster that has stolen half of the pairs of socks. I'm trying to get them paired and squared away, but it's literally an impossible task. And so, Honestly, after today, if I don't find the pairs, I'm just gonna start tossing socks. You know, it's it just, it has come down to that point where we have about 20 loose socks that do not have pairs to it. Anyway, <laughs> welcome. I hope this is some motivation for you to do a quick burst, a quick clean in your home, whatever spaces need the most. I'm gonna stop talking for a little bit, let the music play, and hopefully allow you to get some work done in the meantime. I'll check back in in a little bit. that notorious sock basket that has tons what seem like thousands of socks that needed to be matched with this pair I did find a match for a good bit of them but there was still a lot that did not I did not find a match to it now if you all have any tips on how you have figured out how to keep your socks paired or how to not lose socks I promise you I am I do laundry every single day and I'm pretty diligent in trying to get the socks paired away and get it taken care of but they literally disappear they disappear so if you have figured out the magic formula on how to not have your socks disappear after you wash and dry them please leave it in the comments below I'm serious this would help me out tremendously for us not to have to keep buying new pairs of socks All right, we're in the kitchen now, and this was a normal day. I mean, it wasn't too messy, but it also, things needed to be put up and put away. I believe this was midday, so I had already washed some dishes, loaded the dishwasher, and those are the dishes that I'm unloading. And then I'm going to go ahead and wash some more dishes, reload the dishwasher. Typically in our household, the dishwasher runs two, maybe three times a day. Once in the morning time, maybe once in midday, if we had a lot of dishes left over from breakfast, and then once at night. And then I unload it in the morning time and just wash, rinse, and repeat. backstory I've been a stay-at-home mom for almost nine years off and on and I say that loosely because last year was the first time I worked part-time outside of the home since our oldest son was born I had a couple part-time jobs where I was working remotely didn't work out I had really young babies and so I just went back to being a stay-at-home mom full-time 
Uh, so last year I took a part-time job. It was an office job and liked the work, but it was so hard to manage being a part-time worker outside the home and then full-time mom. And I just did not figure out a good rhythm and it was stressing me out tremendously. So I ended up quitting that job so that I can be back at home full time. Now, I do think a big factor is we are still new in the town that we live in. We've lived here for about a year and a half. And there are a lot of things that we were still figuring out. We did not have a lot of rhythms and routines in place. The kids had activities, you know, just life stuff, being a mom of four. Being a family of six, it's just a lot sometimes. So I didn't quite figure that out. And so I ended up just making a decision to be back home full time. I have thoroughly enjoyed that decision. Being a homemaker, full time homemaker, there's things that I just enjoy the benefits of it. And having a home that is constantly looked after while also acknowledging that I just do not have the rhythm figured out on how to be a full-time working mom outside the home and also take care of the house. So again, if you have tips on that, uh, eventually one day I see myself working again outside the home, but for now it just fits, especially with our youngest being three. So eventually it'll come, but I'll be patient for that. But I'm so glad you're here. I'm glad that you watched till the end. Hopefully this motivated you to get a space in your home tidied or cleaned up just enough so that, you know, there's not a lot of chaos going on. I will see you on the next one. Till next time.